As this is a chatty video and we're spilling all the tea, I'll share with you some of my ups and downs, triumphs, mishaps and solutions. I was quite proud that I got up early, took my camera and my cell phone and got what I thought was some great footage. But as usual, it's not until you get to the editing that you find out all the flaws. Hello friends, family and art enthusiasts. Welcome to my channel. My name is Opal and this is Opal Inspired. So today it's going to be a chatty video where I'm going to be talking about some exciting new plans that I have for my channel. So stay tuned. Let's talk a little bit about this painting before we get back to my audio dilemma. For this painting I'm using watercolour, white gouache and some coloured pencils. I'll be using coloured pencils to add details because it is such a small drawing. I want to make sure I get the feel and the look right. Most likely, when I do it much larger, it will be mostly paint. So, in essence, this is a mixed media drawing or painting. I'll let the painting itself do the talking and we'll continue on with our chat. Enjoy. So, to cut a long story short, I learned a lot about editing audio. First, I separated the audio from the video, exported it out, used a program called Audacity to adjust the sounds and levels, and then imported it back in to my video editing program. I've now decided not to use a lavalier mic that I had because it doesn't seem to be helping and I'm going to get what they call a shotgun microphone for my camera with an additional extension for my phone and of course a little fluffy thing they call a dead cat. <laughs> well, anyways. Um, which you use to cover your microphone to stop to stop the wind and the noise from actually creating additional unwanted sounds while you're recording. 
But not to worry, I'm quite sure by the end of all this I'll be an expert sound engineer and video editor. So one of the things I do want to talk about while we're sitting here painting and sipping tea are the plans that I have for some of my upcoming videos. As the weather's changing in this part of the world, I've been playing with some creative ideas and concepts and coming up with some unique techniques that I can't wait to share with you. Also, I'm planning on doing some figurative drawings and whimsical characters. These drawings and ideas will flow nicely into my plans for developing a series of books. Also on the card, a series on how to release your full creative potential. I'll be getting more involved with my Instagram account, so I hope to see you there. Come and join in, share photos, share inspirations, send me your images, maybe your renditions of some of my drawings, which will be wonderful. Also, get ready to dive into a series where viewers and subscribers can share their artwork with me and I will give positive, constructive feedback. So if any of my viewers are interested, please drop me a line in the comments below. I'm also planning a Q&A session, so if you have any questions for me, I'd be more than happy to share my tips and tricks. And if you want to know a bit about my journey, my favorite supplies, this is your chance to pick my artistic brain and have some interactive art field conversations. The next thing I'd like is to do a few more blogs. I'll be showing you more behind the scenes, having a few more chit chat sessions, <laughs> that's a mouthful, having a few more chit chat sessions and letting you into my art sanctuary where I paint. So get ready for a series of studio vlogs where you'll witness my creative chaos and eureka moments and perhaps a few hilarious ones. It's like a VIP tour into my artistic universe. So fellow creators and art aficionados, buckle up for an artistic journey filled with colors, creativity, tons of inspiration, and make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the like, and share my videos. Wishing you much love, peace.